Hello fam, welcome to another video. Today is a what I eat in a day with my fertility diet. So for those of you that don't know, a couple of months ago, I posted a video here on my channel talking about my miscarriage experience. I unfortunately lost a baby at 12 weeks. It was very sad and I talk about it there, but after that, uh, after six months, I felt ready to start trying again. The first thing I did was I went with my naturopathic doctor in Newport Beach and he sent me to get some lab tests. So basically what he did is he gave me some lab tests to do day three, 12 and 21 of my cycle because he wanted to see how my hormones were behaving throughout my menstrual cycle. And he did find some interesting things and with the results, he gave me a protocol. So basically the protocol um, it contains several things. One is the diet. So he put me on a very high protein, high veggie diet, and he excluded uh, all common allergens. I, right now I'm in the second month of this diet. The first month it was very strict. So for the whole month, I didn't eat any wheat, eggs, dairy, nuts, soy, citrus, uh, all the common allergens. I didn't eat any of that for sev for one month. I will admit it was very hard at the beginning, um, but then after I just got used to it, and honestly, I felt really, really good. Now in the second month, uh, it's not as strict, uh, but I'm still not having any soy, no chocolate, rarely, I, I've had it like two times. Peanuts, and that's basically it. I can have eggs once in a while, also I can't have any dairy, so I, it's still like being limited with common allergens, but not as strict. I'm still following a high protein diet, which is what you will see in this video. Besides from the diet, he also prescribed some supplements. So the first one is a Vitex, and Vitex is a very, very, very important. It plays a great role in balancing hormones. He also gave me a zinc, because zinc helps to uh, boost your immune system and keep you strong. He also prescribed to me some Elite E Complex, which is natural alpha, beta, delta, and gamma blend. And then also B Complex, because I was a little low in vitamins B. So another reason why he put me on a high protein beef diet. And then also vitamin D with K2 in oil form and all of these supplements um, I got online as you can see they're very different brands they're not brands that you find at Whole Foods or at iHerb you can only find them in certain stores and if you guys want to check out where I got them I'll leave you a link below um, so you can check out these brands because these are like good really 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 good brands a lot of times we can find some supplements out there and we, we're not really sure if they're like good quality, you know, and it's very important because you want to be taking something that you know is actually going to be working inside you. So, but again, it's very important that you go and get checked. This is not a prescription. I'm not telling you do this to be fertile. This is something that was prescribed to me personally uh, with my lab test results. And the last thing that he prescribed was a thyroid medication because my thyroid was a little bit low and thyroid plays a huge role in fertility. So he did put me on a very low dose of thyroid medication um, for the first months just to get it, you know, to help with fertility. Those are my supplements. And then the first thing I do as soon as I wake up is drink water. That's the first thing I do. Like I wake up so thirsty and I keep this beside my bed. Actually in the middle of the night, sometimes I wake up and drink a little bit of water and I make it a point to stay hydrated. I drink at least three of these throughout the day. And that's what I do. And then I start my meals. So without further ado, let's get started with the video, what I eat in a day. And as you can see, my cast iron is pretty seasoned and that's how you treat these uh, cast irons. I love to cook meat here because it just tastes really good. What I love about ground beef is that it's really, really easy and quick to cook. So if you ever want just like a nutritious, quick, easy meal, this is a good option. Since I have the, the uh, pan well seasoned, 
you don't need much oil or butter. But I am gonna add a little bit of ghee uh, to cook the spinach. Now I add the spinach. And I'm gonna add a lot of it because as you know, spinach becomes very small when you cook it. <laughs> important thing is the quality of ingredients that you have. If you have good quality, it's going to be better for you. Here's my breakfast, super simple, just adding a little bit of sea salt. Mm. Mm. To be very honest, you guys, at the beginning when I first started this protocol, because I like eating meat for breakfast, it's like I've never done that. But slowly as I started doing it, I actually started enjoying it and I've been feeling really good on it. <sighs> Taking a photo for Insta. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me at Yovana. I'll leave you the link here. So I decided to add some avocado because venison tends to be lower in fat and I felt like I needed a little bit more fat. But with other types of beef, you don't really need to add avocado because beef is already uh, very rich in animal protein. Okay guys, so I just finished working out. I took a shower and now I'm gonna make my post-workout protein smoothie. And I'm gonna be using uh, this protein that I'm trying out. The brand is New Zest and it's a chocolate flavor. And I'm also gonna add some dates to sweeten it, ice and coconut water. Let's do this. Approximately one cup of ice. The protein. I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of maca because it's really good for hormone balance. This is my favorite coconut water, Harmless Harvest, and you can find it at Costco. A little bit, just like half a cup. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. And now we blend. Ready? then I'm gonna add a little bit of almond milk just so it gets more of a creamy consistency. It's like a coffee, well, chocolate frappuccino. I wanna show you guys the consistency. Wow, that is really, really good. Mm. The protein I just made is plant-based. It's made out of pea, and this is the first time I try the protein, I mean the chocolate one. Mm, mm, mm. It's good. Lunchtime, I'm gonna make a rice salad. I am warming up some white cooked rice with a little bit of ghee, and once it's nice and warm, I'm gonna make the salad. So the first step is heating up some white cooked rice that I had in the fridge with a little bit of ghee. And once it's warm, I'll make the salad. I also wanna show you the this pan, which I really like. They're ceramic, 100% ceramic, non-toxic, and they're really, really pretty. Like, look, this is the top, which I find so aesthetically pleasing. They come in different colors. And the best part is that the food doesn't stick. The brand is called Caraway, and I'll leave you guys the link below in case you're interested to check them out. I also have other pots and pans from the same brand here. I have that pot there, another big pan, and then a smaller pot over there. First step is adding some lettuce. This is rose blend, organic rose blend. 
I'm also gonna add a little bit of arugula because I love the kick that it gives. And for those of you that didn't know, arugula is a cruciferous vegetable. So you're getting tons of anti-cancer benefits from eating arugula. Next ingredient is shredded carrots. I chopped these veggies up. It's tomato, parsley, and red onion. Parsley. Finally, red onion. I love the kick that red onion gives to all my salads. Now I'm gonna make the dressing, and the first ingredient is olive oil. One tablespoon of olive oil. Half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And finally, two teaspoons of tahini. Juice of half a lime or lemon. I didn't have any lemon, so I'm using lime. And finally, one teaspoon of honey. Yes. I love this creamy consistency. It smells so good. Just a pinch of sea salt. Now I'm just gonna mix everything in the salad a little bit. Rice is ready. Now I'm gonna add some avocado. Got some leftover dressing and I'm just gonna store it in the fridge and have it later. Here is my delicious, delicious salad, rice salad with veggies. Favorite part of this video is eating, for sure. And guys, this dressing is so, so good. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna drink, have a little bit left of this kombucha. So I'm gonna drink some while I wash the dishes. <laughs> so I like to uh, usually listen to a podcast while I'm washing dishes. And right now I'm listening to one from the Tim Ferriss Show, which is actually really good. Like feels like it relaxes me and it makes the time go by faster. And I learn something at the same time. It's dinner time, and we're in the kitchen making dinner. I'll show you guys what we're making right now. So Dorian is preparing this, what is it called, babe? Gopa. Gopa? Gopa. Um, this is pork, and the cut is called copa. We actually got this piece of meat at the local farmer's market here in Dripping Springs, and it was really interesting because the farmer that we bought it from, he has his farm and he has the animals there. And he told us that pork meat should be red because it looks like beef. And most of the pork that you find in the supermarket is like a light color, but it should actually be dark. Like it's like, it's, it should be a dark meat. So uh, this is all local pasture raised uh, meat. And Dorian is seasoning it here with some things. We have garlic, paprika, black pepper, honey, uh, cayenne, and this all-purpose seasoning. So, it smells really good. And over here, I'm preparing the veggies. So, I'm just doing some bell peppers with some onions, and I'm gonna season them right now. And then I'm also gonna be making some cauliflower rice. 
So I'm gonna season my veggies with this Mexican Fiesta seasoning, which I really like. It has chili, cumin, garlic, onion, black pepper, and sea salt. And the brand is Celtic Sea Salt. My favorite salt of all times. Okay guys, this is my dinner. We have the, okay, we have the copa pork, a little bit of non-garlic bread, veggies, bell peppers, and some cauliflower rice. Bon appetit, provechito, finito, and clean the plate. It was really, really, really good. So this was my what I eat in a day for my fertility protocol. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload videos every single week. And if you want to know more about my day to day, follow me on Instagram at Yovana. I'll leave you the link here because I'm active on stories every single day. I'm sharing tons of tips, recipes, routines, and then also sharing about my personal life. So I'll see you guys there.